Well, hello there. Welcome to my humble basement. Would you like a drink? I suppose you're here to learn about me and my experiences. You want to know my name? Well, isn't the whole point of Ralph Ellison's novel, Invisible Man, of which I'm the main character, to show the anonymity of people? I do not have a name. I am invisible. <laughs> Understand. Simply because people refuse to see me. Me. I'm not complaining though. It's been that way since my early childhood. Since I popped out of my mama. Uh, I was a young naive thing little then. I didn't quite understand my old grandpappy's teachings. And about the white man. I decided to do what I thought was good. And be their friend. Little did I know that they didn't care about me. No one did. Early on in my life, I was given a chance to show off my writing skills. And in my childish desire, I was led to fight my brethren in a brawl. A sort of battle royale. I still have scars from that dreadful night. After I escaped and got to college, one of my mentors, he sent me on a mission. Uh, and after a little understanding, he pushed me north, uh, seeking jobs. Uh, I found myself in a poorly managed paint factory and a fight broke out. Between one of my co-workers and I. And it led to an explosion that knocked me senseless. And gave me temporary amnesia. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't know who I was. Or what I was doing. And after a little bit of searching. I found an organization called the Brotherhood. Which I thought was good and aimed to strive for equality between the races. At that point, I still uh, befriended the white man. I believed them. I trusted them. Sadly, after my experiences preaching and orienting, orienting for that organization, I understood that they was just using me. They didn't really want equality. Everybody that wanted me only wanted to use me and gave me a name, identity, and tell me what to do. I ran. After I understood that I didn't have an identity more, I ran and ran. And I ended up here in this dark cellar. Ever since then, I've become an invisible man in Ralph Ellison's novel. I hope you'll join me in understanding